All right, let's have a little tour of the uh, geodesic greenhouse dome. A lot of people are curious on the progress of it. This is good, uh, make a little record. It's the 24th of uh, March, 2014. So here you have the exterior. A little bit of a uh, thing I want to talk about is this stuff here. <laughs> it's literally stuff. It's called great stuff. It comes out of a can. It's a spray foam sealer. It's for gaps and things like that. But what I did was every joint on the geodesic dome, I padded it with this great stuff. The reason for being is for the uh, cover. This is actually a pool cover. It's a 27 foot uh, round pool cover. But that way there's not metal against plastic. And so when the wind's blowing or whatever, it's not gonna shred itself. So over here is the opening. We haven't figured out a, a uh, good way of entry yet. So I got this old rotten log thing here holding on the plastic. And so we're gonna go inside. Okay, so this is inside the dome. I've got some PVC piping. I was thinking of stringing some uh, water bottles, some used water bottles, and stringing them up just like you'd string up some fish, but fill them full of dirt, and then it'd be a uh, a tall uh, structure of water bottles full of dirt, which I could plant strawberries or something in there. A little bit too tall for this. This is eight feet high. These uh, PVCs are. 10 feet long so I have to yet to modify those to fit here this is a trash can full of water that's a foot locker full of water uh, I read that if you have water in uh, these domes it helps retain heat overnight so this is an experimental process I put these in here yesterday I don't know what will happen this is some of my dead seed starts. I started things out in the uh, basement with some fluorescent, incandescent, and uh, halogen lighting. And uh, things were okay for a while. And then what I did was I put this stuff up here, up here, ground level too early. And it all died off. Well, most of it anyway. It's too bad. These were sunflowers and, and gem corn, but... Might have to get some more. This is actually a pineapple, and it looks alive, but I think it's been frosted out. I'll know here in a few days. But um, you can actually grow pineapple tops if you want to research that. You you know your standard pineapples. If they got the the heart in there, it'll continuously grow if you're lucky and you know what you're doing. You can find a YouTube about that. I haven't made one yet. But I may have destroyed my pineapple. Um, here. This was cantaloupe. And it all died. The frost killed it. Um, these are strawberries. A few might make it. Um, which would be nice. Over here was various herbs and things. Some of them might make it. Um, over here was tobacco. Probably, except for maybe this one, maybe even that one too. It's probably all gonna be dead here, and that's all dead. So, despite the crappy start, uh, I still think this will work out great. Um, you know what they say about failure, it, it shows you how not to do things, and so um, I'll just check that off the list, putting things out too early. Um, there's a bar missing there. We were going to make a door, but I'm really against putting any perforation in the uh, plastic because I know that leads to bad things over years. So for now, I'm just ducking under there and uh, like that. As far as if you want to do this yourself, I got uh, sandbags holding down. The uh, diameter of the, the dome is 16 feet. Um... Is that the proper terminology? 
Well, we'll do it this way. Across is 16 feet. From ground to, to ceiling is 8 feet. Okay. Um, the pool cover is 27 feet in diameter. Um, why I got that was because when I measured, I used a tape measure and went up this way and all the way across. That turned out to be 25 feet. Uh, doing like a big, big bowl shape tape measure measurement that was 25 feet and so I got the pool cover a little bit larger because you have to account for these these the extra inches you get from here from the foam it being added and um, and you need to account to have something to tuck under so this is a work in progress this will be good for the internet because people are wondering how these go I got the dome itself from eBay from um, it was a listing from blackrockdomes.com and they still sell domes. They sell a 32 foot, or excuse me, a 30 foot dome. Um, that's the one I wanted, but I went for this because uh, just various reasons. I um, wish I got the bigger one though, but then you have to think about how you're going to cover it. They sell plastic and a heat gun, and you melt the plastic onto the onto the uh, the ribs, I guess you call them, or the cage. I wanted something solid. The other thing about pool covers, this was just an idea I had. This is for a pool. It's got heat retentive uh, bubbles, hopefully, and it's supposed to uh, retain your heat better. It seems like it's more insulated than just a simple piece of plastic. Just don't be around people that like to pop those, you know, because they would go crazy. Irresistible urge to pop that all so there you go i'd like to get some honest black barrels in here uh right now i'm trying to be uh, economical a little bit i might do that depending on how this works out this is just a foot locker it's uh what i had one of the many i had in iraq and uh like that and so um that's just a rubber made trash can so I'm gonna with one of my uh, classmates in class mentioned uh, getting some black tar and tarring up one side of the uh, dome for heat retention, but uh, we need to look at that. So anyway, here I am in the dome. It's March, uh, beginning of spring about, and so this is a good little documentary of where this is at present. It took a while to get here, but. Uh, eventually I'll make it into something uh, quite uh, interesting uh, so stay tuned subscribe to my channel yada 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 um, what else yeah the other thing I want to do is get into aquaponics right that's where it's at so there's enough floor space in here I would think to run some aquaponics so that's the next goal might take a while to get there but I'm trying to go solar and wind power and going to aquaponics and a bunch of other things simultaneously. I'll tell you, it's kind of a little tough on the wallet. But, you know, ask can, when can. And one other thing you may be wondering about these bottles. All these are water bottles. They're cut in two and turned inside each other. And there's water at the bottom, soil at the top. And there's a rag in there and it's supposed to wick up the water. This isn't the best representation of that idea, but for a while, they were going pretty good. Okay, well, this video is almost over, so other than that, like I said, this is uh, the Military Industrial Museum channel on YouTube. Subscribe, like, pass it around. Other than that, make some YouTube videos yourself. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. All right, take care.